Hello students. Today we will discuss Class C Chopper, also known as 4 Quadrant Chopper. A 4 Quadrant Chopper can operate in all the 4 quadrants. Therefore, the power can flow either from source to load or from load to source. The circuit diagram of 4 Quadrant Chopper is shown here. It basically consists of four semiconductor switches CH1, CH2, CH3, CH4 and four diodes D1, D2, D3, D4. In first quadrant operation, the chopper CH1 is operated and the chopper CH4 is on. CH1 is operated means we could make it either on or off. In second quadrant operation, CH2 is operated. In third quadrant operation, CH3 is operated and CH2 is always on. And in fourth quadrant operation, CH4 is operated. First we will discuss the first quadrant operation. So in first quadrant operation, CH4 is always on. So CH4 is in the on state. Consider the first case when CH1 is on. So in this case, both CH1 and CH4 are on simultaneously. Therefore, the current flows through the path Vs. CH1 load CH4 back to the source. So the current direction is positive. Therefore, I0 is positive. And the positive terminal of the supply voltage is connected here. And the negative terminal of the supply voltage is connected here. Therefore, the output voltage V0 is also positive and the output voltage V0 is equal to the supply voltage Vs. Therefore, we can say that during this condition, the power flows from source to the load and also when the current flows through the load, the inductor stores energy. The voltage induced in the inductor during this interval is VL. Here the direction of current is this one. Therefore, the polarity of the induced voltage is here negative, here positive. Consider the second case when CH1 is off. When CH1 is off, due to the induced voltage in the inductor, the diode D2 becomes forward biased because here minus, here plus. Therefore, the load current I0 flows through the path. Positive CH4 D2 back to the load. Therefore, the direction of current I0 is positive. So, we can say that when CH1 is operated, the output voltage and the output current are always positive, means first quadrant operation. Consider the second quadrant operation. In second quadrant operation, CH2 is operated. CH2 operated means we could make it either on or off. Consider the first case when CH2 is on. When CH2 is on, due to the presence of this DC source E, the diode D4 becomes forward biased. Here negative, here positive. Therefore, the DC source drives the current through positive CH2 D4 
back to negative. So the current flow is opposite to the assumed direction. Therefore, I0 is negative during this interval. Also, during this interval, the inductor stores energy. So the current direction is this one. Therefore, the induced voltage in the inductor is here negative, here positive VL. Consider the second case when CH2 is off. When CH2 is off, the output voltage V0 is equal to VL plus E. Here positive, here negative, which is greater than the source voltage. Due to this output voltage, D1 and D4 are forward biased and the current is fed back to the source through diodes D1 and D4. So the current flows through the path positive D1 source D4 back to negative. So here also the current direction is opposite to the assumed direction. Therefore, the output current I0 is negative but the output voltage V0 is positive. Here plus, here minus. So we can say that when CH2 is operated, the output voltage V0 is always positive and the output current I0 is always negative. Therefore, second quadrant operation. Next is third quadrant and fourth quadrant operation. In order to obtain third and fourth quadrant operation of chopper, we have to reverse the polarity of load EMF E. So in first and second quadrant, the polarity of load EMF is here positive, here negative. In third and fourth quadrant, we have to reverse the polarity of load EMF E. Therefore, here negative and here positive. So consider third quadrant operation. To obtain third quadrant operation, both the load current and the load voltage should be negative. In third quadrant operation, CH2 is always on. And CH3 is operated. Consider the first case when CH3 is on. When CH3 is on, the current flows through the path Vs. CH3 load CH2 back to the source. So the current direction is opposite to the assumed direction. Therefore, the output current I0 is negative. Also, the positive terminal of the battery is connected to here and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to here. Therefore, the output voltage V0 is minus Vs, negative. Also, during this interval, the inductor stores energy. So, the current direction is this one. Therefore, the induced voltage in inductor is here negative, here positive Vl. Consider the second case when CH3 is off. When CH3 is off, due to the induced voltage in the inductor, here positive, here negative, the diode D4 becomes forward biased and the current free wheels through CH2 and D4. So we can see that the load current I0 flows in the direction opposite to the direction shown. Therefore, the output current I0 is negative. 
So we can say that when CH3 is operated, both output voltage and output current are negative. Therefore, third quadrant operation. So next one is the fourth quadrant operation. So in order to obtain fourth quadrant operation, CH4 is operated while keeping CH1, CH2, CH3 off. Consider the first case when CH4 is turned on. So here due to the presence of DC source in the load E, here negative, here positive, the diode D2 becomes forward biased and the current flows through the path from positive to negative. So positive CH4 diode D2 back to the load. So here the output current I0 is positive and also during this time the inductor L stores energy. So here the direction of current is this one. So the induced voltage in the inductor is here minus here plus VL. Consider the next case when CH4 is off. When CH4 is off, the output voltage is VL plus E. Here negative, here positive, which is greater than the source voltage Vs. So due to this output voltage, the diode D2 and the diode D3 becomes forward biased and current flows through the path from positive D3 Vs D2 back to the load. So the current direction is positive but the voltage is output voltage is negative. So we can say that when CH4 is operated the output current I0 is always positive and the output voltage V0 is negative. Therefore, fourth quadrant operation. So we can summarize the fourth quadrant operation of chopper. Consider the first quadrant. In first quadrant, CH1 is operated and CH4 is always on. In first case, both CH1 and CH4 are on. In the second case, CH1 is off, then CH4 and diode D2 conducts. Consider the second quadrant. In second quadrant operation, when CH2 is on, both CH2 D4 conducts. When CH2 is off, the diodes D1 and D4 conduct. In both first and second quadrant, the polarity of load DC supply is here positive, here negative. Consider the third quadrant operation. In third quadrant operation, first case both CH3 and CH2 are on. In second case, when CH3 is off, CH2 D4 conducts. In fourth quadrant operation, in first case, both CH4 and the diode D2 are on. In second case, when CH4 is off, both the diodes D2 and 
D3 contains. In third and fourth quadrant operation, the polarity of load DC supply is reversed. Here negative, here positive. Thank you.